I'm Photo Joseph, photographic storyteller and a Lumix luminary. My Panasonic Lumix GX8 just got an incredible free firmware upgrade with a brand new feature called Post Focus. The idea behind Post Focus is that you can select what part of the photo you want to be in focus after you take the picture. And how it works is really, really clever. Post Focus is a new 4K photo mode. In case you're not familiar with 4K photo, let me tell you about that first. We all know that modern cameras can shoot at a pretty fast frame rate, or frames per second. Some cameras can shoot 3 to 5 frames per second, others can shoot 6 or 7, and some can even shoot 11 or 12 frames per second. But when you're shooting in 4K photo mode, you're not shooting regular photos. You're technically shooting 4K video at 30 frames per second, then saving individual frames of video as stills. A single frame of 4K video is over 8 megapixels. At 300 ppi, an 8 megapixel photo can be printed at more than 8 by 10 inches. That's a magazine cover. And of course, it's way more pixels than you need to share on the web. So while 8 megapixels seems small by modern standards, and certainly is smaller than the 20 megapixels that the GX8 shoots stills at, it's plenty of resolution for most prints and certainly all web use. When you shoot in post-focus mode, the camera automatically racks focus all the way through your scene while recording in 4K photo mode. That means you can go back in later and choose the frame that's focused on the exact spot you want. This is what you see on camera when shooting in post-focus. As the camera records, focus moves from the front to the back of the scene. The green rectangles show what the camera is focusing on. Then, to view different parts of the photo in focus, you just tap the screen. Focus snaps to wherever you touch, so you can save that frame. Or to get really precise, you can zoom in and turn on focus peaking and slide the scrubber to choose the precise frame where focus is exactly where you want it. Then the export button saves that frame as an 8 megapixel JPEG. Post focus is incredible. It opens up a whole new world of exploration and opportunity. I took a Panasonic Lumix GX8 to San Francisco to see just where post focus would come in handy, and I found all kinds of great uses for it. First off, any scene where you're not sure where the best point of focus would be is a great place to start with post focus. Here I'm shooting the sea lions, but the seagull's a great element too. Once shot, I can choose to save one frame, or the other, or both. You already saw the figurines in the Chinatown shop, which was a great place to explore post focus. Cool statues, colorful dolls, teacups, this guy, endless opportunities. Sometimes you know exactly what you want to focus on, in which case, just shoot it. But sometimes you're not sure what will make the most interesting picture. I think that makes Post Focus a great educational tool for learning and exploring photography. Let's say you're taking a shot of your food, like this beautiful setup here. Should you focus on the food in the front? on the teacup, the mochi in the back. Using post focus, you can shoot it once and explore it later and then decide what you like best. Another place I took the camera was to the San Francisco Botanical Gardens to shoot some flowers. When you're shooting macro, your depth of field is really shallow, which means you have tons of choices on where to focus. You could easily shoot a dozen different focus photos of a flower, but later wish you'd focused on a totally different spot. With Post Focus, that's no longer a concern. Also, while Post Focus isn't designed for action photography, it turns out that it's a great tool for photographing flowers that are bouncing around in the wind. If you fire off a few Post Focus shots, you're going to get many perfectly sharp photos, even though the flower's moving. In fact, I even found a bee that had obviously no interest in sitting still, yet I managed to get some really nice shots of her. Post Focus is an exciting new feature with tons of potential. In this video, we've only scratched the surface and only talked about saving frames in camera, but you can do that in the computer as well, and even utilize a series of frames for focus stacking. Be sure to watch the next video to learn all about that. And to learn more about post-focus and 4K photo in general, visit the URL on your screen now.